go. Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my stream. If you're new, welcome. My name is Tiffany and I'm the owner of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay LLC, which is a company that focuses on costume and prop fabrication as well as education and welcome to the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our community, so subscribe to the channel. It is free on YouTube. It is a follow, basically. And don't forget to like the video. So yeah, thank you for being here. It's been a long time. I didn't, I, we haven't streamed yet this year. Um, so we're starting off today in our, uh, our lovely warm day of 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It, it, it has been a warm day today. It has been in the negative 20s lately, and it's going back in the negative 20s tonight and tomorrow. So that's fun. <laughs> um, we're actually getting snow outside right now, and we have about a foot. So it is um, definitely weird for me being a Texas girl now in Nebraska, and this is officially the most snow I have ever seen. And um, yeah, it's been fun. I, I actually got sunburned the other day when I had to shovel to get out of my house and I had like scarfs on and everything but my cheeks were all like bright red and everything for living outside a little bit it's it's very weird it's pretty but the roads are really really gross but anyway welcome on everybody hi Hispanic Furry hi Archidge um wizard thank you for your help this morning wizard I appreciate it uh fairly and anybody else that is watching lurking or watching the VOD later and hello again to everybody on Instagram and TikTok again I am um streaming on youtube.com so yeah go there <laughs> so uh today we are actually gonna be working on um female breastplate patterns so let me kind of show you so if you follow me on Instagram I've been doing a bunch of polls and I'm gonna be doing this year a lot of generic patterns to help you with cosplay in different sizes and I'm first starting off with female breastplates um, technically they're gonna be my size so small but I do plan on going into medium large extra large and potentially plus size it's just a matter of if I can find somebody to I can kind of make a pattern around them uh, so I'll have to kind of venture out in Nebraska and make some new friends so yeah but um, that and then the plan is also to go into male breastplates we're gonna start off with uh, medium size and go up from there so that's kind of the plan, but I've already made four basic female ones already. And I've already cut out all of our patterns for them. So today we're gonna be tracing them onto foam and then we will be cutting them out. I cannot glue anything right now and I cannot Yee. paint anything. Uh, welcome to the community. <laughs> so I'm basically at this point in the middle of just making a lot of projects to work on in the future. So yeah, reason being is because it's in the negatives, uh, glue does not work and airbrush painting and plastic does not work because even though I have an indoor airbrush booth, my basement for me to be able to heat up the room to the specific temperature you need to properly work with those materials, it has to be at least 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. We've been in the negatives, so uh, hopefully by Monday it says it's supposed to be in the 30s again. So maybe I'll be able to work again and do glue and stuff, but um, yeah, I have a bunch of projects I've been doing. Uh, you can kind of see in the background a little bit, my Freren costume is almost done like there's one more part for the tutorial making things which is the sleeves and then the shawl is finished um but the i haven't finished like i haven't shown those yet because there's gemstones and the gemstones are waiting to be painted right now because i'm going to be doing them a specific way they're kind of going to be like a tester for other stuff so that is waiting um the nausicaa no, Narsica. I can't say her name from the Valley of the Wind uh, from Studio Ghibli. I'm also, I've already finished the dress. Um, I have all the knife pieces ready to be cut. I've done everything. All my patterns are ready. Uh, so that's all like in the process of just 
but once it's warmer I can work on that again. I also have a commission of a shield from World of Warcraft that I'm making. It's actually gonna be a wall display mount and um, it's the something defender. I don't I don't remember the exact name but it's on my back table over here. It's all cut out and ready to be glued at some point. Um, so yeah. Yeah, but that one's gonna be fun. It's the one that has like a, it's like a circle shield with some points on it, and then it's got three floating gems around it. And because this is a wall mount, I'm gonna make it where the gems are like mounted onto the wall, so they're not actually touching the shield because they don't. They're supposed to like float around and stuff. So yeah, that. And then um, the only other project I'm in the currently uh, process of remaking is Nilo's horns from Genshin Impact. And those, they are ready to be painted, I just have to wait for it to be warmer. So yeah, but um, it's pretty much where I have been. So let's go ahead and start working on some breastplates and things, cutting out pieces. Yeah. <laughs> and I will switch over to this camera. Yeah, again, if you're on Instagram or TikTok, I'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash Jimmy Cosplay. And that is where you'll get a much better view because you actually, I have tons of cameras and you're gonna have an overhead view of what I'm actually working on on the table. Where this video, you, you can't really see shit. So, yeah. But, get our foam out. And this is one of our new affiliate foam stuff. So if you are interested in the foam that I'm using, do exclamation point foam. And that'll bring you to all of the foam that I use. If you use any of those links, it helps support my channel at no additional cost to you. So I appreciate it. But this is uh, HD foam that was originally made by SKS Props. And we're going to be using four millimeter foam for this. So. All right. Uh, Juju, do um, exclamation point studio tour, I believe, and that'll give you the video of where I store everything and show you. in advance, so that's good. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully that'll work. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Yeah, that should be the link. All right, let me see if I can push this down even more. And I'll try to move this a little. Yeah, the plan for the future is to hopefully get where my live crafting streams, there's like a certain platform that I can have it go through Instagram and TikTok and YouTube all at the same time. So that's a goal in the future. So we're just gonna need to treat our phone. Thank 
cost was made? Awesome. What are you planning on uh, making? I've honestly been... I've not been burnt out from making costumes. I've been burnt out from... After I won the BlizzCon cosplay contest with Lilith, I really needed like a break. And it wasn't from making costumes, it was from companies. Because last year, I had a lot of offers and a lot of discussion throughout the year of this would happen, I was doing this, and I can't really talk about everything. And at the last minute, more than half of the stuff, like the companies would just ghost me, and then they wouldn't get back to me for a few months and be like, oh, well, we changed your mind, or we're not doing this. And I honestly got really burnt out with that. And I, I now actually have a lot of trust issues with companies. So I don't know how many companies I'm actually gonna be working with going forward as I just don't want to deal with them. Um, but it did kind of mess me up a lot. So I've been kind of taking a break and I'm happy to be doing like working on my own stuff again. It's been really nice to just do little side projects and do just small little crafting things. So the, all of the little hilly troll masks from Genshin we did, those were fun. Making all of these side patterns and then just doing these small costumes that are just quick sewing projects have been really nice and relaxing for me. Um, I was originally planning on doing Esther from Trinity Blood right away, but I, I need a little bit more break before I go into a large build. But um, yeah, we still have a lot that I'm working on. After I finish the two costumes and then the prop shield and finish Nilo's remaking some of this stuff, the plan is to, um, I, I really, really want to make the warrior Final Fantasy armor for like a male version and I'm really excited about that. And then I also have in the scope line, um, making, what is it, Soul Edge from Soul Calibur, that giant sword, and, oh hey Yuki, and that one, I plan on doing a live painting while I am a guest at Monster Palooza, so that's going to be like a full weekend of me painting the giant sword at the convention, I am so excited for that, so yeah few projects that are giving me hope again. Almost done with this side, and then we're going to have to flip it to the other side. You always want to heat treat both sides of your film. Yes. 
such a bad girl. Hi, Ruru. Welcome on. How are you? she was. I watched the whole series before I had cosplayed Wicked Lady. I grew up with that. I remember when they used to, so back in the day when I grew up, I only had the basic five channels, and at that time the CW was actually the WB, and they would play anime in the morning if you woke up early enough, and one of them before I would go to school, because it was either that, the news, or golf, was Sailor Moon. So I grew up on Sailor Moon as a kid. We're just about done featuring everything. make sure the dress form, uh, the new mannequin was covered because last time I got in trouble for her being naked and not having clothes on her because people thought it was weird. So that's fun. Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon were yours too, but you didn't get that far until uh, you went back to re Yeah. So my mom didn't, she only had the basic five channels. So it was like Saturday morning cartoons, which was amazing on the uh, WB. I had one of those like WB cards, membership cards. It was funny. And they used to do like Pokemon uh, tournaments and things at Burger King. I don't know if anybody remember those days. But yeah, that and then my dad, he did have cable. So when I would go to his houses um, after school, it was Dragon Ball for me. Yeah, hi Yugi. Welcome on. Hope you've been doing well. All right. Don't get in trouble, Yuki. Yeah, my little troublemaker. My little troublemaker. Okay, and then of course I have to film all this, so I gotta get the camera out. Yuki's been, so she's now like, I think 
10 or 11 months and I'm trying to start weaning her off of the kitten food and she is uh, not a happy kitty whatsoever about it. So she's been extra spicy. Extra spicy kitty. You're gonna cause trouble, aren't you? to just this camera so you see everything let me know if not I'll keep the two cameras for uh, YouTube all right so this is gonna be breastplate pattern two and I tried to do a bit of a variety for them so one is more like a bralette one is a little bit bigger than Two of them have straps, one is like short waist, one goes over the hips partly. So there's a bit of a, a range. And the plan is to have, to do four where you can buy them individually or uh, I'm gonna do a bundle with them that's a little bit cheaper. So hopefully this will help some people. Definitely been a lot of interest, but interest doesn't always mean they'll be sales. So we'll have to see. So does anybody have any news since? Let's see, I think I streamed before Christmas last. It's been a while since I've done a, long, a live stream. So anybody have any, any updates or new ones they want to share? Or any new costumes they're making? Actually, I'm just going to put all of them down. Make it easier. Look at that. I know. I know. It's been a bit. I did for Christmas. My dad helped with getting a few more setups for my gaming PC. So that's, or well, gaming setup and all. So I'm pretty close to streaming on Twitch again for games only. Which I know it's been a long time. It's been two years since I streamed on Twitch, so it's been a bit. But that'll just be for games. And um, the only thing left that I really have to do for it is I have to set up like a different account for that room for specifically streaming on Twitch because that one's not going to be going to the same platform. So yeah. But I did, if y'all didn't notice, for our YouTube members, there are a ton of new emotes, and uh, those will also be going over to Twitch, all the new emotes. And most of them have to do with the little Dean and Yuki, who brought a screen. Here you go. Can we toss it? Her, her favorite little screen. Bring it back in a few minutes. Just wanted to say, dear Lindsay, 
Get Mercy videos. They're so helpful. Uh, and if you... Oh, I'm glad! Thank you for watching those. I always love hearing and seeing uh, people using my tutorials and stuff. We do have an open Discord. Um, I'd love to see some work in progress pictures of it, or finished pictures if you have it. Just do uh, exclamation point Discord. Yeah, I've noticed an increase in Overwatch uh, patterns on my website again, which is nice to see. controlled though by remote control so it's not me moving the wings for the Atlantic Mercy it was somebody else that was controlling them for me and each wing could individually move on their own one for scaling, but I don't know offhand. I make all of my patterns myself. Did you bring it back? Where is it? Where'd you put it? She brought it in somewhere. I just can't find it. Where'd you put it? Sorry, Yuki, I can't throw it. Yeah, but for all of my, my patterns and stuff, I make them myself. And I've never actually used a corset pattern that's been pre-made. I've always done my own. Um, I personally always had a hard time understanding pre-made patterns. And I'm all self-taught with everything, so I just never use them. I just do all my own because nothing ever fit me anyway. Uh, I've always been really tiny and all the patterns I've got just never worked and I had to alter them so much that it was just never worth it. So most of the stuff I do, I either drape the fabric over a dress form and get my patterns like that. Uh, some of them I will do the old cosplay way of wrapping yourself in saran wrap and masking tape or I'll do it on one of my mannequins. 
and then um, I'll get my patterns from that. Uh, sometimes I'll just 3D model it from start to finish. It just depends on the design for me. you have shapes but don't get why um it might be so mine are to correlate with what part they are so on here this is part let's say this is part a this whole piece and then i have letters that indicate which part attaches so right here there's a line and that's where it ends so that's part f which is here so this piece right here that has an a will match from there to there where this is part E, so this piece, and this is A and A, it actually will rotate, and that's where it attaches there. F is here, so that's the second half of this one. And then G, which is this one, will attach here to A, and then this one attaches to D, which is this piece. So if it's something like that, it's probably indicating which piece it aligns to. I know some of them are um, your darts and things, but I don't, know them offhand. I am not a sewing expert. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am still just self-taught and I do mine my way and it works my way because uh, all the other stuff's a little a little more tricky. So. You having fun, Yuki? Oh, okay. Thank you. She's gonna get spicy soon. And then she'll probably get kicked out. She was really good last night when I was assembling and cutting all the patterns though. She just watched. She didn't try to attack the paper, which is a huge improvement. But she's still... No. She's still, when I sew and I use sewing pins, she still steals all my pins. And I'm so scared she's gonna like choke on them. And I don't even keep my tomatoes with the pins out anymore. They're just in a closed container so she doesn't try to eat them. But she'll go to my fabric and actually pull them out of my fabric. Okay, everything is traced now. So the next thing is we're going to letter everything. I'm just going to add my little tack marks so I know which part aligns to which. It's all that. You trying to find a tailoring shot, so we'll, we'll just use dress forms to lay it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the biggest thing I always had was pants would never fit me anywhere. And I have a very short, short waist, torso part kind of thing. So it was just like, Neh. and all mannequins never worked. Even the smallest ones, they just, they never got to my size. I'm lucky now that I'm, I'm finally kind of close to dress form sizes, but I'm still petite. Uh, for making it out of foam, I would recommend for the Mercy Staff, um, watching my pink Mercy Staff video. Because that one, I believe I made all out of foam, and uh, I want to say I used a broomstick. Finally, I'm in this room. Yeah, welcome. Glad to have you. But yeah, I would uh, recommend for building any staff, knowing if you're going to travel or if it's going to be like it's only in your car. Because you want to design your piece around that. 
if you plan on flying or going anywhere with the staff, it will need to get smaller and not be seven feet, six feet tall, however tall you make it, because that's really hard to transport. Uh, my first Mercy staff I made was for Valkyrie Mercy, and that one I made out of a broomstick and warbler, um, and also insulation foam, uh, the pink insulation foam stuff. And it, it worked, but it is one massive piece, and it does not come apart, and I can never travel with it, plus it was heavy. So deciding if you want it to be one piece, which will technically be stronger, or if it needs to come apart in multiple pieces, and then once you have that figured out, then you can kind of work your design around. Uh, Staffs are really easy where if you have a blueprint of one and it's too short or too large, you can kind of cut the center and like take off an inch or two and kind of change it. Cause nobody's going to really notice if the staff's not 100% what it looks like in the game. So that's kind of how I do it around. But yeah, and then breaking the staff into parts to work on. So instead of working on the whole thing at once, maybe work on just the top part, each of the three little fins, um, doing it that way. If, let's see, what was the Atlantic Mercy staff? I know it was purple. I don't even remember what the staff looks like anymore. It's been so long. But if there's um, any clear parts, a good place to go would be, I think, Hobby Lobby or Lowe's. The, the hardware stores are my favorite place to go for props and for costumes. I just go and I look in the plumbing section because pool plumbing stuff's really good to use for larger shapes. Um, for instead of making things all out of like this type of foam, you can use insulation foam and then carve it into the shapes and cover it in Wardla. Uh, there's different options you can use and you can change your budget around it as well. I don't know if that answered your question. Uh, yeah, for me, because I travel so much to conventions and things, I just in general make everything for transportation now. And there's some ways that, like for my Megumin staff, I got a lot of people that were like, why didn't you use fish? fish line to hold the gym up in the center because you won't see it as much and this and that. It's like, you can, but because I travel so much, it doesn't work as well. Because putting something in a suitcase, fish line, no matter what you say, it will somewhat stretch, it'll move because you can't permanently like, you can glue it, but it's still going to come out kind of thing. And it, there's a lot of issues around it. Like the thicker stuff is better, but it's harder to tie and then it's more noticeable and things like that. So it's like, I do my stuff my way for travel, but it doesn't mean it's the only way that can be made. It's just what works best for me in my situation. And I'm writing all this upside down. <laughs> but yeah, feel free, if y'all have more questions, feel free to ask. I'm just kind of off.
patterns right now. I'm actually gonna, so this is pattern number two. I'm gonna put it two next to all of them. So I know, since I can't glue them for a little bit, <laughs> if they're sitting in a pile, I know which one goes to which, and they won't be like, I won't be super confused. Snow, by the way, which is appropriate because her name means snow in Japanese. But I put on, been trying to get her okay with putting on the harness. She hates harnesses because most cats don't like them. And then because it's been really cold, I've been putting on little snow boots for her. And she's all grumpy, but then once she goes outside, she's so excited and she just wants to run around. But then after a while she gets cold and she comes up and she's like, Meow. it's like, okay, we'll go back in. youtube.com slash dipping word cosplay and that is where i'm reading chat and answering questions so if you have that go there it is free on youtube and it is definitely snowing well outside can't see the road again probably have about half an inch right now since it started at the beginning of the stream um a little less than an hour ago See how much more we get. And then if I have the shovels. Okay, time to cut. Okay. We're gonna start on this side because I don't want to be by her. to 
to in the correct size, then I will make them available on my website. Um, if they don't, then I'll readjust them and make them work. And then the plan is to do different sizes of this. So I'll have to go through and kind of see if I can alter this to a medium, if I need to find somebody to make pattern off of kind of thing. I know I'm going to have to do that for large and plus size though. Just because I've not made something uh, for someone that size. So I want to make sure that they actually work and fit. I actually did not cut through all this all the way. The world is spiraling dumpster fire, but still getting along. Oh, I tease the Pokemon. Uh, for me, the world is spiraling white stuff from the sky. Um, yeah, yeah. It's apparently normal here. I'm just not used to it. I think we're supposed to get two more days of snow um, over this next week. And then come Monday, it's supposed to get to 33. That's an exciting day. That's gonna be a warm day. But um, I don't know. The sun's been out pretty much every day. So it's kind of like half, um, Thursday. I was supposed to put trash out. Oops. I thought today was Wednesday. My bad. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I lost my train of thought because I saw the, the garbage man and I've been so confused on what my days are. It's hard when you don't leave the house because you're snowed in in my car. So I have all or I have um all weather tires, but my car because I don't drive very much, I have to charge it every time before I go out. And it's like frozen solid because I have to use a key to open my car. So it just I don't drive when I'm by myself. So it's like I don't leave the house ever. Especially when it's snowing and when it, we've been in the negative 20s for like over a week now. Not leaving the house. Yeah, we're getting snow right now. We have about a foot on the ground. Um, and it just started snowing again about an hour ago. And we've probably got about half an inch. and. Probably we'll get like at least an inch today, I'm guessing. Did have to drive to the store the other day and 
it's crazy seeing some of the snow in places like there's so many cars that they just can't get out because the the snow plows have buried their cars and then um there's a few universities around here and they have pieces to cut for this one. But yeah, I'm currently working on these four basic female breastplate patterns for foam. Uh, I've got a Fremen costume, which is, I'd say at least like 70 to 80% done, but it's at a standstill because of the weather, so I can't finish it. Um, I started my Nasaka costume, I know I'm saying that wrong, but from the, the Valley of the Wind Studio Ghibli movie. That one the dress is made, I've already got patterns for everything else, but it's another one of those, well, it's at a stopping point. Uh, I have a commission for a World of Warcraft shield that I've been working on, and everything for the shield is cut out, I just can't glue anything because of the weather, so it's in another pile. And then my Nilo costume from Genshin Impact, I'm remaking a few parts from it that I wasn't happy with. And that's also at a stopping point because I can't paint because of the weather. So yeah. Just lots of piles and when it gets warmer, I'll be able to do stuff again. <laughs> Break out the sled and hit the snow. Uh, uh, well, I don't have a sled. Um, <laughs> they're actually, so it's been like in the negative like 10s to 20s, but the wind chill is, I believe it said it was negative 37. And once it gets to that temperature, like, no, I just don't go outside. I got sunburned for for plowing snow from my sidewalk when I was out there for like 10 minutes. Or, well, at least my cheeks were fully red and stuff. Or windburned, I don't know. It's a whole weird thing. And I did learn I need to get a better snow shovel. Because last year, with, like, I've been in Nebraska now for a full year. And last year, we didn't really, like, we got some snow, but I think we only got three inches. And everybody, all of my friends were saying this was like a really, or last year was a really uh, slow day or slow year for snow. We didn't get much. And this is like an appropriate snow amount that we get. <laughs> and so we got a snow shovel based off of last year's snow. So it's just like a basic one, like it did the job. But we definitely want to invest in a, uh, a more heavy duty one because uh, it's kind of hard to get our car out of the gravel road 
and yeah, got a little stuck. I have shield. Yes, I have shields. Um, I don't know how much a foam shield would last in the snow, honestly. I've never worn a costume in snow. I I wanted to do so. There is a. It's like a an old mansion castle thingy here that you can come and take like basic photos and it's got a little bit of land photo spots here in Nebraska so far in my area are like bleh, unlike Texas sorry oh, they are but um it's really pretty and it's kind of like this old like not gothic but kind of it just looks old it looks European and I want to so bad while it's snowing to put Lilith over there, get in my Lilith costume and do a photo shoot, because I've yet to do a photo shoot yet with her. All the photos I have, I, I don't like. Um, it, she's not meant for being in dark lighting, how I made the costume. It is made for bright lighting, so you can see the details in dark lighting. It just goes to, to mud, because it's a dark costume. So yeah, but I really want to go. The only problem is... Everything's like, all, all the weather news is like, if, you, if you're you out in for more than like 10 or 20 minutes outside right now, they say you'll get frostbite or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know things about snow. Except this snow. This little snow creature who's my little devil child. My little demon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going to move that, Yuki. I know. There's like this guy over here across the street trying to ride his bike in the snow and he can't because it's just so much. <laughs> um, little thing? I need you to move for a second, please. Okay, okay. Can you lay right here? Lay there. I need to take a picture. Sorry. Well, this camera works. My uh, camera just stopped on me. Um. Check real quick. It just my camera completely turned off for some reason. Yuki, what'd you do? I don't know which one that was. for dead now. It's not camera two. Write it down, write it down. Thank you, I'll look at it in just a second. Can it turn it back on? No. For the uh, 24 months membership. Hi from work. Hope you're having a great day and enjoy the wow. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I've been a. Uh, so we're having issues. My camera just literally died on me. Sorry about that. I'm trying to fix it right now. I don't know. Let me see. Um, deactivate. Activate. Okay, we got this one working again. And the color balance is all wrong. Um, my other camera, like, just wonked out. <laughs> it just, like, officially died. Uh, da, 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 let me see. Which connection is that? Let's 
it's not to the camera. Uh, Blame Yuki, I know, it happened right when I picked her up too, which is funny. Yeah. I just have all my cords so tightly wound because I wasn't expecting this. But yeah, I've been playing uh, World of Warcraft Classic. I really, really like Classic compared to Retail. It's like my favorite thing now. And I've been playing it, so it's my first time playing Classic. And I've been playing it for almost a month. And I'm at level 60 now. It's been a lot of fun. she chews cords so it wouldn't surprise me if she accidentally chewed it let me try one more time camera, my backup one. Hey, we got that one to work. Okay, let me try replugging the other one in real quick. Just to problem solve real quick. And if it doesn't work, then we'll do the other camera. Hey, it works again. Okay. Except I think it it completely changed all of my settings. Oh, that's frustrating. That is a uh, frustrating. Okay. Well, we we fixed it, kinda. This is the, um, the gross non-edited lighting. 
because it doesn't change any of it. Tell me real quick. Fix it. Configure. Thank you for bearing with me, guys. Sorry about this. Um, put that there, and then let me change our lighting. Hi, honey bro. Welcome on. Hope you're doing well. Exposure off. We had it at Yuki. Ah, you little turd. Just ruining my foam, you know. That's that's great. She has her own little foam circle that she's allowed to destroy. But no, she went for the mat and started chewing it all up. Um, that's good. Okay, we want this. We're gonna make it where it's not at white balance zero. Let's see. Can't tell. Yuki. That one got messed up too. Is it a blood elf? 
the one that that starts up on the right right area in the very top. I'm I'm terrible with them. I'm all stabby stabby, and I didn't realize that there was multiple trees that you could spec down, so I did the first one, and I'm all the way down to the bottom, and I didn't realize you could do other ones, so... Yeah. I'm not doing any poison for mine. But, I... For me, I really like Classic because of... The... I think it broke again. Why are you doing that? Really? Deactivate. But yeah, for me, I really like the classic because I like that not everything is the same level. So if I want to fight critters that are easier, I can. And if I want to fight critters that are more difficult, I can. So I've really been enjoying that. Yeah, sorry about this again. Okay, we're gonna go with that and just see if it'll work. Ish, 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 okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're retail. I had fun. But I didn't like that everywhere I went, everything, like, I had to always be on my best fighting. I always had to be alert. Where with Classic, if I want to do a whole bunch of smaller critters that are, are less difficult, I can. If I want to go in and, like, face something that's really hard, I can. And each zone is different levels. And I found that really fun. I did, though, at the beginning, so I finished the very first zone. And technically, you're supposed to teleport to the other realm, or like to Undercity or whatever. And I didn't know that, cause yeah. So I ran through Plaguelands. Everybody, I'm like level. I don't know what level you finish on there. Like maybe ten or seventeen or something. And so I had to run through Plaguelands, and everybody's level fifty. And it took me so long, and I was so grumpy, cause I kept dying from just critters everywhere so yeah <laughs> but it's been fun okay i am probably like super super over white balance but we're gonna leave it as is for now but it's a little bit longer and the cup size is a little more covering than the other one. But it's not 
So I, I do the blue myself now. And Sally's when I went to go and get the blue, they didn't have the same color I wanted, so I had to go with a slightly different one. So it's a little, a little bit of a mix, but I think it's okay. It's just a little more pop. I personally like it when it's more teal for my hair color, but for some reason all guys think it's green, where I like, I, it's blue, but it's just like a color difference. I don't know. Airbrush kind of like. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> no, I do. So for my hair, it's been like a year, and I don't like doing the blue one solid color. I always like my roots to be like a slightly different one. But um, when I got it done the first time professionally, it was pretty. But I'm a naturally dirty blonde color for my hair, and she did my hair black. And I wanted like a dark brown, but it, it was like black. And so there's actually, let's see, there's a slight line, I think like right here, and I've been slowly getting it out each time. Cause I've been, uh, every time I color my hair, I've done it like three times I think over the year. Um, I've slowly been bleaching it out, but I don't want to like overdo it and fry my hair. So there's a slight band there that I don't like, and it's darker. But, um, yeah, it's, for me, one day of bleaching, because I have, I have long hair, but I have a lot of hair, and my hair just absorbs, and you have to do so much product, and for, like, the blue bottles, I have to use three to four just to color, so it's one day of bleaching, which normally takes about, like, four hours. And then um, for the color, it's about like an hour and a half, and then I have to let it sit. And I usually let it sit for a couple of hours. So it's extra, extra blue. It works out. It's a lot cheaper too, because the hair salon, they undercharged me because they thought my hair wouldn't take as long. And I told them, no, no, no. Every time I've gone and got my hair done professionally, it takes three times as long as what normal people's hair takes just because my hair absorbs product and I think I was in there for like 10 hours and it was only 350 not including tip and it should have been my hair should have been at least like 500 not including tip for the color and the bleach and everything it's like I don't have that kind of money so I now just go and get my own stuff and I think in total I spend maybe like 60 bucks on materials each time I color my hair, maybe. And I do my hair probably like once every three or four months. So I, I would much rather do that. <laughs> 80 for wrap, okay. Yeah, I like, I like being able to, for a while, have multiple levels, like keep going. <laughs> Yeah, hair, hair is expensive. And I'm kind of a bum, and I don't, I don't really brush my hair, and I don't really style it. I just wake up, and that's what my hair is that day. Sometimes I'll straighten it or curl it, but I gotta be, like, going out or really bored, just because I'm, I'm too much of a bum. I mean, I'm in, like, this is my cold weather. I look like a fucking troll right now with, like, 
my, my giant pants that are up to my waist and my shirt's tucked in because it's cold and I've got socks on and yeah, this is my cold weather gear. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. So, but it's his life. I at least put on makeup for the stream. I haven't done, I think, makeup in a week or two ish. driving there. So I wanted to do like two nights in Austin. So like I want to do a meal with my mom, um, spend the night at my dad's in Waco, and then I wanted to also get together with the tank crew potentially. I just haven't texted anybody yet. So yeah. Allergy stuff? Oh, sorry. Gotta go through some vowels, have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, he's marrying Riley. I don't remember, I don't know if you've met her or not, though. They've been together now for, I think four years, five years. She's really sweet, I love her. But I don't know if you've met her though. They're like a perfect match. Yeah, we'll see if I do any meetups in Texas. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I was trying to determine flying or driving. And if I flew, I could stay at my grandparents' house and then potentially use their car, but then I wouldn't be able to, like, go to different places. Oh, you're thinking of Jess, Jason. No, not her. Not her. Um, but yeah, I was like, well, it's gonna cost money for plane tickets, and then I'm basically just stuck there. And then, uh, so yeah, I was like, okay, well, I could make it into a road trip, and then it's a two day drive, so probably gonna stay in, is it Oklahoma? somewhere there and then I'll stay at my dad's house in Waco to visit and just kind of like make stops in between so yeah but hoping hoping to do two nights in Austin one night to spend with friends and stuff and then like a hardcore night of going out downtown Austin since I haven't been there in a while one second
making sure. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, for that cosplay, the dress is finished, um, except for the ammo holsters um, for the slugs. I've got it all designed, so I'm planning on, for each of the slugs, doing uh, 3D printing them. And then I've already got the fabric pattern for it, so that way each one could technically come in and out and be functional if I want it to be. Um, Obviously, it's gonna be all fake, but that's the plan for that. And then the only other part is there's like a little cross strap on the neck part. Uh, the wig came in, which I don't have to style at all, which is really cool. It's always a nice one. I can just buy a basic wig off of Amazon and not have to do anything to it. Uh, the knife, I've already patterned everything, and the plan for that one is I'm gonna use my Glowforge and laser cut all the parts and so I have it where it's going to have a functioning foam sheath to put the, the little dagger in and out. Um, let's see. I've done the blueprint for the rifle and then I still need to do the pattern for the helm and then the respirator. I do plan on making all of that <laughs> in the functioning bag and stuff. So it's, it's going to be a fun little build. 
And that one I do want to make more realistic. So it's going to kind of be like my son costume from Princess Mononoke, but it's not going to be covered in blood like that one. This one I want to be more, I'm going to do more dirt to it and make it age like she's been running around and fighting and stuff. So that's kind of the plan of how I, I see this build. And then I want to put, this is pattern one, so yeah. Yeah, that's what the, the blue dress was, if y'all follow me on, on my other socials. Since it's been snowing here, I can't, I'm very limited of what I can do, because I can't glue right now, and I can't paint, so a lot of my builds are at a stopping point, because I can't do anything until the weather changes. So I kind of just move on to the next project. Not being supported by the State National Guard, but we are still doing a reenactor for reenactment from Australian Learning History Program in May. Okay. y'all can use them for your next cosplay builds. But I've got right now four in total and these are size small. The plan is to do um, large and medium and then hopefully plus size down the road. So that is the goal as well as doing male ones. Uh, those will start at a size medium-ish is kind of what I'm looking at. So yeah. It's 71 there. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it's snowing here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully y'all will find me as helpful for you adults. It's the goal. complex just because there's more layers so both uh, the first one was more of like a bralette and this one's more of a slightly larger more covering one and then we'll slowly move up to ones that are like fully covered so hopefully there'll be kind of a wide variety ish for you that you can kind of modify on your own done cutting all these parts. I'm watching the cars, like the faculty, or like the car parking lots and stuff, and there's like two inches of snow on them from parking this morning. Okay, and then the last two 
might change out my blade for the next ones. The, I like the HD foam, but it does because it's more high dense, obviously because of its name. Um, it does dull the blades quite a bit faster than just normal EVA foam. games right now switching between WoW Classic and um, House Flippers 2. I've really been enjoying. I finished the campaign on it and then I think I have like maybe five houses left that I haven't bought in game and resold. There's a lot of parts that I like more than House Flipper 1 but there's some stuff that I dislike as well especially with the reselling part. All of that is cut now, so we'll take our our picture of I tried to make these off of a more standard, I use my my mannequin, which is more standard person size, so hopefully these will be better. But yeah, so that's kind of those. teeth marks. because they're actually meant for um, going over the shoulders. But I don't think the pieces are as long when I designed this one. I don't remember. I like, did all this yesterday and I don't remember. It's 
been blessed by Yuki. She she has one piece of foam because I was afraid she was gonna destroy stuff. This is this is her piece of foam. It is hers. This is nothing but teeth marks for those that are here. That is Yuki's. It lives on the floor, so she doesn't destroy what I'm working on, hopefully. Oh yeah, this was on the floor for a second, and she started to check in. She was a little, little shit the other day, too, because, so I have my shield above my sewing machine, like my, my grand shield that's like as tall as me. She started, she's not supposed to be up on the sewing table, for one. And I hear this claw marking, and she's scratching my shield on the sewing machine. I'm just like, oh, she got in so much trouble. But she's she's destroyed some of my stuff already. Like I had some work that I did in college. These giant pieces of paper because I used to make paper by hand, and I would do all these like art pieces and stuff. Hard to explain. And she destroyed it, so I had to toss it off. There's, there's no patching it when it's like handmade fabric, like sheets of paper kind of thing that's delicate. So, so mad. But that's what happens when you get a new kitten. And she's very much, like I've, I've trained a bunch of kittens before, but she is, the most stubborn kitten I have met, who's very much like it is her way and nobody else's way. Yeah. She's just a little evil, evil thing. But she's also not fixed though. I haven't decided if I want to fix her or not. Which could be why she's a little spicy too, because she's turning into a, a lady kitty now. about Yuki though is when she does something bad and she knows it she'll run around and then just do something cute like it's not me like she knows she's cute Constantly everywhere I went was in my lap. She was so nice and then 
I get Yuki, who's like the demon spawn. Like, ugh, can't be like the polar opposite. I love Yuki, don't get me wrong, but she's a little hellraiser. I'm hoping Yuki did come and she laid behind me in my chair. She didn't try to attack me for the chair, which is good. So that's, she's starting and she's starting to cuddle in the bed, like outside of the sheets until she, she's like a very ADD cat where if she gets bored, she has like the old oh, shiny syndrome where she gets bored really easily and she gets distracted real easily. And then we'll just all of a sudden be a pinball in the house running around. And she does that in the middle of the night, where she'll snuggle half the night, but then when she's up, you have to be up. And she'll start attacking your feet, or she'll, she tries to climb the headboard, um, and things like that. And then she gets kicked out of the room. And then she just meows at the door, because she's like, I don't know what I did! spot down here where she didn't have it as a kitten and her face is starting to turn gray and so are her ears. But yeah, we named her uh, Yuki for snow in Japanese. And she likes snow, so it's perfect. when my car can't even leave you. Um, yeah. Never saw snow in your life? I could have said that like a year and a half ago. Now I see snow. Because I originally was from Texas, but I'm uh, currently, uh, we're stationed here in Nebraska. So. Have I let you, yes I did. I let her in the snow. She loves snow. She really does. She cries to go out. But it's, I, she's only allowed out if she's wearing her harness. She doesn't like her harness. But now she's, I'm trying to get her used to, if you put the harness on, you get to go into the snow. So she gets excited. But I've been having to put um, the little, little booties on her feet since it's been in the negatives and I don't want her to have her, her paws frozen or something. I don't know. But she really likes it. She likes it. She was confused at first. And when we first had snow, she couldn't see it during the day because it was just bright, but at night we had a back porch light and they were like huge, like snow pieces that were like that big and she was just like at the back door, like looking like, oh, what are these? And we let her out and she was just like jumping. It was cute. Teleporting, I would love to teleport. That would be nice. Now a lot of a lot of places right now have also been maybe open, maybe not open because of the weather. So it's been kinda yeah. Like a lot of stuff were closed for last week. Um, you couldn't do any Uber either. And so like the first day it wasn't negative. I think we got to negative twenty-seven last week, I think. And I think once it got to negative 10, you're like, it's a warm day, let's go to the store, because we needed food. So yeah, I've, I've got stuff for a week at least, until, until I can go out in the car again. Hopefully Monday, 
Monday it's supposed to be in the 30s. Cross your fingers, because then I can work again. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna get to the point where I have so many projects that I've started, because I can't do anything. It's like, I can make patterns as well, but I can't test to make sure if they work. So like all of these pieces, I'm, I'm trying to test them and I'm cutting them out and all, but I won't actually know if they work until I can glue them. But I can't glue unless it's 20 degrees outside because I can't heat up my spray booth with my vent so I can glue down there. Because I'm not gluing up here. It, I can't vent this room with that temperature, so. because the gems are the last part and they're just sitting downstairs waiting for it to get warmer. I'm also doing a bunch of paint tests right now with different stuff so I have a lot of things and samples that are waiting so once it gets to the correct temperature I can do a lot of different samples on stuff. <laughs> when you don't drive your car for like a week, then I have to recharge it. But my car literally has a sheet of ice over it and I can't open my car without like, I have to hammer off the ice or something because my car only has a turn key. Um, and then I'd have to defrost the hood so it would pop open because I tried doing that before. So yeah, it, it's, I can't go anywhere right now. I'm home. <laughs> but at least I'm a homebody. But yeah, I, I've got all weather tires on it. Just not snow tires. And right now we have a foot of snow and while I've been streaming, we've had at least two inches of snow. So definitely, if I don't need to drive, I'm not driving right now because People are crazy, and there's no lanes when it snows. It's just a free-for-all. And the roads here, there's certain lanes that, during different hours, changes different directions. And so, it's kind of like, mm. And a lot of the streets near me, you can't turn left. So it's kind of like, all confusing. And I know, I know, problems, problems. I'm at the point where if I need anything, I'm gonna check the basement and see if I have like leftover fabrics and stuff, like technically my fur and dress. So the bottom of the skirt is a different fabric because I ran out of fabric 
and so I had to find a different fabric, white one that I had, and it's this really, really terrible, like, satiny, cheap, old fabric that was cream, so the underneath is not white, it's cream. It's awful. It, it terrible to sew, too. But yeah, I, I can't go out, nothing's open. And at this point, if I need anything and I don't have it in my storage room, it's going to be Amazon. <laughs> and then hopefully I'll get it um, within like a few days, if not a week, depending on the snow. Because we didn't get any mail for like three or four days because of the weather. Charger. I have a, a jump starter thing that doesn't need another car that I keep, but with, it's this cold and snow and water, I, I can't really use it. So. It's nice to hear your wife constantly complains that it's hot. <laughs> 70 is not hot. I used to say when I was in Texas, 70 was cold for me and I would wear a jacket. Now I'm like, I, I'm still good. I still love the heat. Like, I'm fine with it. I have the windows open. But I'm better with the cold now, which is really good. But it does help that I have actual winter clothes now, where in Texas I didn't have winter clothes. I had Converse and flip flops. I had no actual shoes. I have actual snowshoes now, which is wonderful. Um, and I have like snow clothes where I, I didn't really have like jackets except for military gear. That was like cold weather gear. I'd be in all my military clothes. So yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> You'll take the heat rather than the snow and the ice uh, that no one can drive it. Yeah. The snow I'll say is really pretty. We have a field next to us and it's just white and pretty and I love it we have bunnies so I see all the little bunny footprints everywhere and there's tons of herbs around the house so you can see where they'll dig up and then we have a tree that lives or a tree we have a squirrel that lives in the large tree next to us and it's fun to see in the morning his little paths out of where he's been trying to dig for his nuts and things it's really cute but um as in terms of driving and people it's awful and all of the, the rows are just like black and green and because of all of the snow just being pushed and dirt and stuff and it's gross. They had the highway shut down the other day too. Just because there was such a massive like pile up or something. And it's pretty much impossible for me to get to these. So I've been doing most of like my grocery shopping at like the basic stores next to me rather than going to the commissary. <laughs> oh yeah, I I'd imagine Hawaii wouldn't store that. I know like for me, so it's weird, we're renting this place, and the heater for the house, it's, the AC is fine, but the heater, so most of the time when you have a temperature, you set it at a temperature, and then it stops when it gets to that temperature. But the heater here, once it gets to that temperature, it'll stop blowing hot air, and it just blows constant cold air. I don't know why. It's, it's always done that. There's no way to fix it. Like, we've looked at manuals, we looked at programming stuff and everything, and it just... I don't know. But I live off of little space heaters in every room right now.
but yeah, so thank you to uh, everybody over the, the last year who sent me a heater on my wish list. I really appreciate that because they're all in use right now. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it's all, I don't know if it's a Nebraska thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> we also have a furnace, which I had never had before. So that's been a learning thing too. I, we were so concerned when we first moved here with the furnace, because we were always like, being from Texas, we never had one and told like, oh, well, with the furnace, if you're doing any type of painting or plastic dip, then it's gonna ignite and, and the whole house is gonna explode and things like that. So we came in like all paranoid. And now, like, so I used to, every time I would do any type of painting or anything, like this is, I have a separate painting room that's completely closed and it's got a giant, massive vent. Nothing's getting in or out. And so I used to turn it off every time. Now I don't worry about it. Like, all good. They're all like paranoid. You can't have cardboard in here. You can't have this. It's all gonna like, yeah, because our, our family kept telling us. So, <laughs> yeah. I still do, when it gets to the negatives, I still do the Texas thing where I put towels on all of the windows. Um, my windows actually frosted over in some spots, but like when it, when it used to get to like the 40s, in Texas, I would cover all of the window seals and stuff with towels and doors because it would help. This, all of the windows here are, are double framed or double, double glass, I don't know what they're called. Um, and then there's an extra window you can put during the cold season, which is cool. So I have all of that. <laughs> shrink on window. What? I mean, my windows are like, in some rooms, floor to ceiling. But, it's still pretty fine. It's really only the studio windows, which I'm in here, that will freeze over, and that's just because I have the spray booth underneath me. And the spray booth, because it has the vent going outside, uh, that room gets really cold. So it's been 35 in that room, which is why I can't paint because I can't heat up that room to the correct temperatures enough. Because with uh, airbrush painting, the temperature of the room, the working, um, room needs to be 65. So that means with the vent on, 
when the air is moving, it needs to be 65. So once you start working, like the room can be that temperature and you start painting, but then once you turn your vent on, all the heat is gonna leave. So you gotta be kind of cautious on that. Oh, I didn't do my lines. Uh, and then with Plasti Dip, your temperature needs to be 70. And this is all stuff that I really didn't care about in Texas because it, it didn't really matter too much, but here in Nebraska, it's like, I cannot work. Which just affects me a little bit with some deadlines on things. So I'm really hoping it'll change soon. Sorry, I feel like I've been complaining about the weather a lot. I don't need to. <laughs> I don't have blue on my nose now because of all of the, the lines on my hands and blow my nose. I do like it when it's cold and I sleep though. So what I do right now is I put the heater on when I take a shower at night and then it normally gets to like 70 inside. And then I'll go to sleep and when I wake up it's normally around 54 inside because I don't have the heater on going all night. But I am very familiar with the when it gets to that temperature inside with the heater there's a slight click sound that I hear. And then I know oh it hit that temperature because otherwise it keeps blowing. But it's a slight, like... I realized I've been, like, standing this entire time, too. most of my costumes. I'll just like hang it up after I wear it so it can kind of air dry um, with the wind and stuff and for breeze it. Just because most of mine have like hand painted stuff on there and they'll bleed. Same with uh, if you use Sharpies. Black is fine on things but red is like the worst one you can use because red Sharpie even if you do plastic dip on the foam and you paint on it, 
the sharpie still goes through all the layers no matter what where black it doesn't matter so with red you have to like sand it through but yeah i've had not with sharpies but my nuka girl costume from fallout was ruined kind of similar where i hung it up and the red fabric it they're like it's a non-washable material. It's like the, um, it, it's the Yaya Han, like, stretch fabric, but it's got, like, that plastic thing on top. They don't make them anymore, because I think it had issues. But, uh, it was just hanging in the closet, and you where the red touched the white fabric, it stained it. Like, it wasn't even, like, it just sat in a closet for, like, a few months. And so it's got, like, a giant red streak across the boobs, and then across, like, the crotch and stuff, and... It definitely looks like something else, uh, so I can't wear it anymore. One day I might remake it though, but yeah. prototyping four different breastplates and I can't glue them because of the weather so I'm cutting out all the pieces but they're all in separate piles and I want to make sure in case I move the piles I know which piece goes to what. So I'm just putting a little four next to them so I know that they're for that one. Oh, you're like burning, go away. <laughs> but 
I don't know. I just radiate a lot. Slop used to really love it because she would snuggle with me because I was so warm. Yuki! Yuki likes the cold. She's not a... Not really a snuggler yet, and she doesn't like being under blankets very much. I'm trying to train her, uh, but it's not going too well. But she's also a like a North Cat, like her breed, long hair and everything. But she's from what's the state next to me? Is it Iowa that's next to me? I think I'm terrible with states, but that's where she's from. So if you want to say something, go over there. It is free. Um, and then subscribe. Yeah. And for those that are here on YouTube, thank you. If you are new, love to have you as part of our community. So subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like the video while it is live as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, we're just working on our email breastplate patterns right now. And this is four millimeter foam that we're cutting out. each episode like price but that one there's a new one that's on crunchyroll um what's it called it's like leveling at zero or something and the guy it, it's a new one and it's very it's very bloody which is good it's one of those kind of dungeon ones where like a portal opens and all these critters come from the other realm and then you get to go and find out if you're a hero but then you can never gain a level you're stuck in whatever level you're given and he's like given the lowest level possible which i think was uh e rank or something he's the only one and it's been pretty good so far i think there's only like two maybe three episodes but i've been liking that and then there's a new one I've been watching on Netflix, which is, I think it's Cooking in a Dungeon. Dungeons are like the big thing right now. <laughs> but it's been pretty good as well. Uh, no, I don't need them. Did I film this? I don't remember. But yeah, those, those have been the three main. And then there's one other one that's like, found it on the list. It was like Crunchyroll recommendations and it was where is that meme from is technically what its category was. And uh, it's like a maid one where this girl, she's trying to get a job and she's like the evil one or something. I don't, I don't know. But it's been a side one too. You all know me. I'm terrible with names.
Ponder out again. Wait, have y'all been watching anything? You know, I was watching last season 100 Zong. It was good at first, but then I kind of was like, eh, so I never finished it. And they're like, I'm this character. I'm this one. I'm this one. I'm this one. Like, yeah. in the Discord again. Saw so you post something about a Nightmare Cosplay listeners. Oh, so that one I am doing uh, not the Nightmare costume. I'm doing just the sword, which is the Soul Edge, I believe. I think that's the name of the sword. Um, that one, so the plan for it is I'm going to make the whole sword, it's I think going to be six and a half feet to seven feet tall, I'm, I'm like five foot two, so give y'all size difference, and I will be taking it to Monster Palooza, and I'll be painting it live at my booth during the weekend, so that's the plan with it, so yeah, I'm very excited for it, and I want it to be grimy and it's gonna have like a rust effect on it. The eye is gonna have like a glowing effect because this is also gonna be like sponsored by my airbrush company or airbrush paint company. So I'm using different different lines and kind of promoting that as well. And then it's gonna have some of like, because it has like the, the, the guts on the outside kind of thing. So I'm gonna make it kind of bloody and make it look very gruesome and monstery. It, it's gonna be cool and I'm really excited about it. So yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? Sorry. <laughs> 
there's randomness happening. A noise. But yeah, that one's gonna be in the works. So currently, right now, I am doing the. I have a lot of projects going on because of the weather. Um, I'm doing four female breastplates. These are my prototypes I'm making right now. And if they are correct and they work out, then I will put them available on my website. And then I'll slowly do different sizes as well as male ones. And then I'm making a furring costume. I'm making a Nausicaa costume from the Studio Ghibli movie with the Valley of the Wind. And then for side projects, uh, I'm finishing remaking the Nilo up like the crown. I do have to remake part of the shirt too. I want to actually be able to wear it comfortably. Kind of kill or going on a killing spree note. Yes, yes, you know. My booth is gonna be all messy and gruesome and yeah, it's gonna be great. I don't, I actually don't like being in cosplay at like conventions because I feel like people think I'm just like the cosplay model and I have so many people, whoever's with me, they think is me and not me and they don't think I make my stuff and it makes me sad. And last year when I was at Monster Palooza, I couldn't really move and interact and do shit. And so I don't want to be in costume and I, I'm a maker. I like making rather than wearing. So I really want to paint and make stuff at the convention because there's so many other FX makeup artists there doing the same thing, but they're doing makeup. And I want to be like, here's a bloody sword, here's what I'm doing. So that's, I'm excited about that. But yeah, so that, um, I'm also working on a commission right now for a shield from World of Warcraft. That one is ready to be glued. I just have to wait. <laughs> So all the parts are cut out on it and it's ready to assemble. Um, it's going to be specifically a wall mount though. So it's not going to be a functioning shield. So it's going to be designed a little bit different than what a functioning shield would be with the curve, having the handle, because it's just going to be on the wall. So it's going to be more flat. And then there's going to be, there's like floating gems around it and they're going to be installed on the wall rather than to the shield. So it's going to be a little bit different than if you were going to make it as like for a costume. Um, those are the main side projects, I think. And then coming up next after all of this will be... I was going to do Esther. I'm going to save that till the end of the year from Trinity Blood. And so I'm now going to be working on the male armor, the Final Fantasy Warrior, I'm, I want to make that so bad. Like, the armor is so cool, and the axe, I'm really excited about. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, those are the main projects that I'm working on. Um, and then, of course, more Genshin stuff, since I'm I'm still sponsored with them, so I have to do more Genshin. So yeah, more side projects. I'll probably be doing the Wanderers hat next. So after Nilo's done. I know most people want me to do Mo Mona's hat, but I kinda wanna change it up a bit. Yeah. I had a lot of 
personal messages for that one when I did polls on my platforms. They are like, I want both of them, but I see this one's winning. So, and, and people are like purposely messaging, like, I see that it's winning. Please still make this one though, if it doesn't win. <laughs> oh, so this one is, it's a little bit lower and then it actually has above the breast part. So there's obviously the booby cut, but this one, it's more of like a V in the front and in the back for this type of breastplate. And then it's got a full back as well. So when it's, when it's closed, it'll follow the curvature of your back. So yeah. This one goes to here. This one to work pretty accurately um, from what I designed it for so meaning like so when I make patterns not blueprints but patterns specifically I do cut them out and I make sure the pieces actually align in the foam and they all work out and then I release the patterns to my website uh, blueprints they're just 2d line art to give you an idea of what it's supposed to look like kind of thing but for patterns because there are actual like this part goes to this and this that's I want to make sure that they work and most of the time they work the first time I'd say probably about 85% where the other 15% I have to alter a little bit um, and only I'd say I've only had like one or two projects that were just like an absolute fail it didn't work on the prototype whatsoever that one actually we did um, what was it? It was the the High Inquisitor hat from World of Warcraft we did live on stream. It was supposed to be a one day build and I made something but it, it looked like shit and I never released the pattern because I could not get it to where I liked it. So yeah. Uh, size and, and just stitch part of the picture. Oh, you're just talking to him, sorry. It's like, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, and then the last one, which I think we are gonna have to do more foam. I'm gonna trace what we have onto here, but I'm not gonna heat treat the other one yet. I'll do that one later. But let me get the parts out. This one is the largest out of them. This one's number three. And it goes, for this one, it actually goes down to like here where the other one ended here. And then it's a full cover to the neck. So it's similar, but it's more for the full armor. So I'm hoping these three different, or sorry, four different variations will be enough that you can kind of alter to make custom to yourself and what needs you need. Hopefully, hopefully, that is the plan. Okay. That one fit perfectly there. That's leave work, so I'm gonna say bye now. Uh, thanks for stopping on. Bye, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And see you on the next stream. <laughs> to do it and I figured 
I'm going to Monster Palooza, which is all about FX makeup and monster makeup for the film industries. And it's like, you know, I don't do FX makeup, but this would be a perfect opportunity to do a monster sword and paint it. So that's why I kind of brought it up and a lot of my friends are really into it. So I'm kind of doing it for them. But yeah, it's, I don't typically make things that I don't watch the shows or play the games, but this one, I, I actually don't really know anything about, which is rare for me. But yeah, there's a, I know that there's different versions of the sword and things, and I have a specific one. I put it on my website, which one I'm, I'm doing, and that's going to be the base one that I'm making. Where there's like other versions that have, I think, more eyeballs or more craters or something. I, I don't really know. Hmm. What would be the best one? That's gonna be the best way. Yeah. the best layout to use the to maximize my phone it's always a puzzle piece to lay things ago and I was really interested in doing another Studio Ghibli movie uh, costume and because for me the San one I hadn't had that much fun making a costume in a really long time and I really felt like I was so I'm an art major I have a degree in studio art and everything and I used to make my own designs and they were very realistic and things like that and I really missed that part of my work in my costumes. Like most of my cosplays I try to make it as accurate as possible and I think I get pretty close but for this one, like the Princess Mononoke one, I wanted it to be more realistic and less movie, I guess you could say. Um, and so I kind of wanted to do my own twist on it, and I felt like this one also, I could do the Nausicaa one. I could do my own twist on it kind of the same and make it realistic. So that's kind of how it, it came to be. I'll say that, I know my, my Instagram is doing bad right now. But it definitely, for the first video I posted, it did not do well. Um, which is kind of a little worrisome for me. Uh, but I still am going to make it. And I'm doing a lot with it. So I'm going to have fun with it. But it's one of those that I do have to be a little cautious. If it's such a 
such a niche that nobody knows what it is and if it really makes my um my platforms go down that affects affects me for paying bills so i have to be a little bit cautious so yeah <laughs> Snow is really pretty outside right now. They're like big, fluffy, fluffy ones flying around. Oh, I'll need to trace this. But yeah, I'm. I really would like this year to kind of focus on on me and doing stuff, and not really, not really like I don't. I want to work with companies, but I don't want to focus on it because I got so burnt last year off of it. And I really just want to kind of have fun, just do my own thing. And I really want to focus on basic patterns this year. So yeah. Well, you have your vote. Uh, love realistic looking cosplays. That's your style for the most part. Yeah. I like to do a bit, a bit of mix. But yeah. It's kind of hard to, for certain characters, it's very hard to do realistic for some of them. Like Genshin Impact, and the characters are like, this is the character, and when you do a realistic version, it just looks kind of weird at times. Like every time I've tried to change like paint styles, I go back to, it, it needs to be cartoony, because it's just, that's what it is. some stuck people on the road. One guy's tire is just rotating. I feel bad. Uh, reward does have certain <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I think it's more of, for me doing the realistic style, it's like, it has to make sense. And for the Studio Ghibli ones, it makes sense because they're outside in the environment where, like, and, and they'd actually be doing stuff where doing a real version of Megumin it seems a bit more difficult because, I, I mean, unless I had, like, green goo on me. But I'm not doing that. Um, so, yeah, it seem, it's, like, a little bit harder. And it wouldn't make sense for, like, a Megumin to be 
at least to me, realistic, because the show is so not serious. So yeah, it, it kind of just depends on the character. Where like the the sword versus the soul edge one, that one I want to make realistic. I want that one to be like grimy and I want to exaggerate from what it actually is. Thai food? Ooh, that sounds good. Relative invited you to dinner, so their choice. So it's a surprise, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to avoid cooking right now until I have to, which will be tomorrow most likely. disappeared. I could do. <laughs> it's 
been my biggest thing is I haven't been able to, um, I haven't had anything that I could stream because I've just been like doing something back and forth and it just doesn't work. Thank you. 